a special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlo, Lucky Charms, Sam Medina, and Blah Beer Cookie for your amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to Seven Days to Lie, Darkest Falls March. So as you guys can see, I have filled in almost half the floor of here. I was almost done. It's literally half, half. It was actually like, well, technically it's just, just more than half. Because this middle line is shaped by both sides. So yeah, we basically filled in half the floor of here. We just need to do the rest. Put it in stairs on both sides over there, so that should be fine for the Horde night. I'm actually uh, rather looking forward to this day 21 Horde. I just hope that we don't get demons too early. Because if the demons start showing too early, then we're going to have a little bit of a problem on our hands. Okay, so all we have to do now is fill up on food and water. Uh, we do have some cobble and stuff here, but we, I want to use that for repairs. Also, this one needs to go downstairs. Please tell me we have some more 9 more ammo. And the SMGs going to be able to fire that, so we're going to have to compare these two guns to each other. We have first aid kits at least over there as well, so it's a good thing I didn't accept them from the other quest. Because the SMG might just be better than the P225. Okay, so our vehicle is going to be faster, but we need blue. Oh wow, look at that. Not too shabby. Okay, I'm just really going to need to borrow the glasses. I need to remember where I put them. <laughs> it's easy to forget which one's where. Okay, do that. We're going to do this. So we can make 62 glue, we only need 50 for that um, well, field saver mod. Drag. If we can have that before morning, that's going to be awesome. Just 8 minutes, oh no, but 8 minutes. It's going to be morning before the 8 minutes are up, I think. Okay, the trader also should have reset by now, so I'm going to try and check that out. Modify, put that in there. Do we have some gas over here? Nope, okay. I need to arrange vehicles if we come across, because if I can make the NCID, at least my shotgun, or for the M60 or something, that's a, that we're going to use during Horde Night. That would be awesome. Okay, so now I need to see this one. Obviously better than this one. Oh, way, way, way better. But then again, this one uses 762 ammo, right? If you compare this one to this one, the range is sh uh, shorter, but we don't need it for range because we are busy using it at the horde base. So the M60 at the moment is our best gun. Modify. No, uh, yeah, no, it's this one. Modify. I need to make sure that we put as many gun mods on the weapon mods on there as possible. So armor shredder should be able to put on there. I want to see, I know we do have the Brass Catcher as well. The Wandering Horde. I want to make sure they come for me, that's why I fired the shot just now. If they don't come for us, uh, then we're going to lose out on the XP. I should have probably grabbed, oh we still have the XP glasses on, right? Yes! Okay, so we're going to get a little bit more XP than usual. Wait, what's that? Um, is that a titan? I hear something really tough, really big. Oh no, that's not- Oh crap. Oh no, I didn't bring any iron with me. I need to bring, uh, bring some iron with me. Now the, the, the demolisher is going to be a problem. I need to be careful, if I accidentally flip the switch on the demolisher, it might actually cause some problems for us. If I can go down there and I can kill them, especially that pop, the pop's going to be a problem. Where's that? Oh, hello. Damn, this water is actually rather big. Oh, damn, I didn't get him in time. I need to get the demo. I need to make sure I don't accidentally... Oh, hello. So please don't break my leg, and I... please don't tell me I just heard a screamer. Okay, make sure we do that. Um, I, need to I want to still come and repair some of these hatches. We need to be careful of this demo. With 1000 HP, it's really easy to accidentally uh, flick a switch. I think what I should try and do is stand over here. Oh, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Um, if we make him bleed, perhaps, that'll be awesome. And now the healing. Oh, do I have the anti red modern knife? I can't remember what I have on. That's not, I need something that's going to stop them from healing. Nice, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, now we don't have the XP or the uh, Lucky Ludo goggles anymore. Okay, so they're really doing damage to this design, but I think it's because they're not fully feral. Or well, like, they're not a Horde Knight level kind of zombies. Did the demo just die? I think the demo, ooh, might have played out. Cap, 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 cap. Oh, the screamer's gonna show up soon. No, don't do that. 
I can see the damage. It seems the damage did die. I just saw his scope. Crap, okay, I need to be careful. That was a lot of gunfire. I need to make that silencer as soon as possible. The shotgun's great for disabling their regen, but that's about it. Other than that, it's just way, way, way too loud to use right now. The fact that he just destroyed the stairs. We don't have... Oh, we do have some concrete left, so I might be able to use that. Damn it, I can't afford to waste any resources right now. I need to come and repair this. I need some iron. I'm going to need some concrete now from this to repair, and then we're going to need some more concrete shapes. Yeah, when I heard the footsteps just now, I was like, ooh. And also, look at this. We almost leveled up. So it was definitely worth it just now. Okay, so we're going to grab some of this. We don't need that. We need the repair tool. That's going to break soon. So for Horde Knight, we're going to have to have a new one. Just hope a zombie doesn't break in sometime soon, and then we don't hear it. Because then all of a sudden down here, we're just going to have a zombie in our faces, and we're not going to be ready for it. Ooh, okay, that was a little bit more hectic Hello, than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> What's okay, this, how much loot do we have? I just need 50 for that mod. Okay, and then we need to go and do this. Grab. Grab. I should probably see if I can't make myself some... Oh, I was busy looking over here. Uh, where is that SMG? SMG, I think it was yellow. The one that I saw first was green. I was like, nah, I need the Molotovs over it. It's over here. Okay, so this one or this one? I have the damage of the other guns more, but this one's magazine size is more. By, te uh, by 10. P225 uh, is 20. Well, 20 rounds is actually rather good. But I'd rather go for the SMG, I feel. But the handling of this one of the SMG is crapper, and the damage slightly, but that's fine. Yeah, I, can put, I, I should be able to put two, at least two of those mods on the SMG. So we're going to do this. When we do get a better P225, we'll use that one. The brass catch, I can now put it in my M60. So let's just really do this. Modify. Uh, we can put the rad remover on there and the armor shredder. And then on the M60, I haven't put your stuff on yet. We'll go for the brass catcher, the recoil, the uh, muzzle brake for the recoil, and then some extra ammo space. Boom. So for Horde Knight, we're going to be using this one, this one. I should actually take them upstairs. So I know that I just have to grab some ammo as well. So I don't accidentally forget them down here and then not be able to use them during Horde Knight. Okay, that's about it, right? We do have some shotgun shells or slugs over there. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I need to make myself a silencer. Let me just quickly see. What do we need to make a silencer quickly? Silencer mod. We need some steel, oil, and scrap. Okay, some steel. I'm going to use all of that. Oil. What else do I need? Uh, oh, generic notes. I thought I just grabbed it. Did I grab something else? Oh, I took one out and that. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's why. Okay, but as soon as we have the silencer, that's going to help us tremendously. The steel, we're going to be able to uh, upgrade the horde base and repair the horde base with. Uh, the concrete over here, we can turn into more blocks. But I think first we need to make sure that the horde base is repaired before we use this for our base. And then I need to make the fuel saver, so that should be enough glue over here then. I do have a, I have a spare first aid kit upstairs, so we need to use that to be able to heal us completely, if not for the first aid bandages of here. The fuel saver. What do I need? What do I need? 100 springs. Please tell me we have them. Yes. Okay, awesome. Now we're going to use less gas. I should actually refrain from driving around until I actually have that. Otherwise, it's just going to be a massive waste of resources. We'll put that away. We'll scrap that. Put the glue away. And I just love the sorting in this game. The fact that you can drop stuff that's already in, uh, in your box over here, that's way easier. Okay, so farming, healing, and food and water goes over there. And then ammo, I'm just going to dump stuff that we don't need right now. Wait. Huh? Where was it? There was some more 7.62 in here that I didn't see just now. Okay, we'll use that during all night as well, just in case you run out. That's going to go upstairs as well. We need some explosive uh, rounds as well. But for now, we should be good to go. I'm actually kind of um, scared, guys, because as soon... Wait, what is this? I just saw an explosive round. Three shots, exploding crossbow bolts. Three. As soon as we start getting titans and stuff, I just fear that we might not be strong enough to take them down. I'm actually kind of worried for when they start showing up. 
just first make sure we pull up on this one so we know how much water to drink because if you eat this you lose two water which isn't much but after a while it can start get a lot i wonder why the food and water insta fills now but pain made it so that the healing takes time so you have to be way more careful when healing you can't just heal and you're insta healed it takes a little bit of time to heal so in that time the zombies can easily kill you okay so i'm gonna need some iron to repair the hatches and we have concrete some reason i'm hiccuping like crazy all of a sudden okay let's put this away and then you modify see that's three more shots so i think let's do this i need a better order shotgun oh that's another thing guys we can actually buy auto shotgun we can buy the skill although it's unlocked under gun crafting level three and we only have level two no we only have level one damn okay so that's locked under level three yeah that makes sense but it's going to be a while until we can actually unlock that. I need to level up faster. But this next level up, like I said, I want to make sure we get this one maxed out first. So I need two more points of year because we need to get those double rewards. The more quests we can then spam and get rewards from, the better. I want to see if I can put some stuff in there. This one can only hold three mods, right? Yeah. This one can only hold two mods. I need to make sure that we have the right amount of mods on the gun so we don't uh, lose out or miss out on opportunity okay and then also we need to make sure we have some repair kits upstairs because these are about to break i think we have everything food and water is fine this should be done as well yep nice we're starting to get eggs again i'm gonna have to make some feed soon again as well because we're running out of feed but hopefully by then you're already in the new base i just have to go upstairs and do some building um, I'm hoping there wasn't anything else crafting, right? Wait, it's this glass. Okay. Um, I'm hoping that we have enough concrete now to go and make ourselves a ton of blocks so we can just finish that floor. I think we're going to need about 300, 400 shapes just to be able to pull in the rest of that base of ours. And as soon as that platform's done, we can start building our stuff on top. Okay, so this I kind of want to use right now because we are lacking and healing a lot. And then this over here, we just need to start quickly repairing. Unfortunately, I took a ton of damage just now, especially because of the spider and me shooting down at the spider. Where is that zombie? Ah, oh, there's a hook over there. I thought the, the footsteps are starting to actually sound even familiar to me. Like from the footsteps, I could actually hear that was a female zombie just now for some reason. I need, uh, I need to upgrade this to steel as well. I do have steel on me, so I need to make sure we just get the top layer at least. Because during Horde Night, um, it's the top layer that's going to break first from um, demos. Fortunately, it uses 10 steel per block, and then to upgrade it even further, it's going to use 20 steel per block. So to get it to... Ah, oh, damn it, we're going to need way more. I'm going to have to see if we don't have way more iron, because I need to have more steel. At least this whole platform up top needs to be steel, and then this whole platform on this side needs to be steel. Then we're ready for the Horde Knight. I'm kind of nervous about the roof, because I haven't actually checked up top for the amount of damage. We're literally going to have to be on the top of the roof to be able to tell what kind of damage it sustained. Okay, this one's almost broken. Uh, I could repair it, or I could just scrap it. I mean, at the moment, we have others anyways. I don't want to waste any resources on any possible, uh, possible stuff, so I'm going to put that in there. This we're going to make some shapes with, and then anything we can use during Horde Night. I'm just going to go dump over here, so we don't have to worry about coming back for it. Yeah, we have 26 on us. That's going to be enough for some quests. And some water over there. And I just need steel. I need a ton of steel right now. It feels like we're not going to have enough, but I just have to rush it a bit. Oh, that's why that was there. I was about to say, why do I have a little bit of extra shotgun shells? It's a shame it doesn't auto-reload itself when it's done. Wait, am I wearing the right glasses now? Yeah. I want to make sure we always put on the Lucky Doodle Goggles, because when we're out and about, we might get some really good loot. Now, did you reset because of Day 21? You were here to buy... I've got uh, the yeah, you did. Okay, cool. So what do you have for us now? If you have some steel or something, that's going to be awesome. Uh, you have a chem station, lucky your goggles. If you have steel, I might just buy some steel, even though that's going to be expensive and I'm going to waste my cash. But then I don't have to make too much. Although if I can buy some iron, I, don't, I didn't even see how much coin I just deducted. I should have paid attention to that. More of this. And I think for now, this is fine. We might need some of these, uh, what do you call it, beakers later, but we have a ton already. It's, the nice thing is that for the first time ever in a series that I've played, we don't have a lack 
of those. So usually we look for beakers all over and we can't find it. This time around, I was actually lucky. Blue. Duct tape. Okay. Remember me if you need medical supplies. So we're gonna need gas as well. Oh, this should be done. Please, yes, 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 yes. Now this vehicle is gonna use much less gas. It's gonna be awesome. Probably just quickly pause and see if I, uh, all the doors are closed. My dad's watching a movie. And he likes his surround sound, so I hear everything coming from their room. Okay, uh, we can actually stop this. I'm gonna make some steel. Um, I do that. How much steel can I make? That's about 54. It's only 10 blocks worth, but it might just be enough. So if I do that... Three, twenty-four. Okay, so now we just have to put all of this stuff away and we can go do some quests. And at least we are ready for Fortnite, more or less. I just have to make sure that we actually make some concrete blocks over here. And I'm, I'm trying to get upstairs before the zombies start actually digging into the walls. I'm going to drop this one concrete upstairs because we can just as well. I need to make this a full block, put that away, and then we can take this upstairs. I don't know why I put those in there. I could make some more glue in the meantime, but for now, I don't think it's going to be necessary. We have everything more or less that we need and that we want, as far as I'm aware. Food, we can actually go and at least eat that. Oh, I need to make myself some better food soon. See, while I'm down here, the zombies are waiting on the walls. Now, there are things that you can do. Um, like, put a pathing upstairs with turrets and stuff, but I've tried them in the past. And later, when you start getting titans and stuff, especially warrior difficulty and up, the turrets don't kill those uh, titans. So all those zombies break into the top and then you are screwed because all those zombies come for you. And this needs to be a block like that. And then, nice, now at least we have the silence. Let's see how, how loud is this again. I need to repair this still, I forgot. It's weird that I can't place a block of it. No, I can. Why when I tried placing a block earlier, I didn't want to. As long as before Ward Knight, I can just quickly really repair this staircase over here. And this one over here, we should be able to have a nice base. And then this needs to be steel as soon as possible so the zombies don't break it from the side. Because they always do that for some reason. Okay, so let's quickly really go do the man-eater quest and then go back and see what quests they have for us. Even if I just spam some scout quests for now because the other quests are too far, far away, that's fine. We need to do as many quests as close as possible to us as, uh, as po uh, possible right now. As many as possible. Possible, possible, possible. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we need to do as many as possible because um, it's, clo it's close enough for us to just quickly run through these. I need to actually deactivate this other quest because we're not going to go there right now. Open trade routes. But now that we have a proper vehicle, we'll be able to do it easier. Anyway, okay, here you go. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this so I can actually see past you and get some apples. Hello, zombies. We just run around a little bit. Okay. Please tell me I at least hit some zombies over there. Hello, are you guys dumb to realize I'm here? Ooh, need to be careful, need to be careful, need to be careful, need to be careful. Even though I want the XP, I, don't, I want to make sure we don't die. In Darkest Falls, so for those of you who don't know, you don't lose any skills. There's no real penalty to losing. Usually if you die, um, you your game stage gets lower, but in Darkest Falls, it stays high. It doesn't matter how many times you die, it just gets harder and harder and harder. Hey, what are you? I wonder if I can heal her. That's right click, right? Nope. For some reason, we can't heal her. You used to be able to heal them, if I'm not mistaken, but unfortunately now it seems you can't. Okay, yeah, uh, trader is which way? Yeah, let's go. Man, that was annoying. <laughs> I just got stuck between so many fences on the way here. I kept going accidentally into the backyard and stuff. What are you looking stuff. for? Ooh, look at- Oh, look at this. That is really tempting, but this is going to be way more worth it. If we can get some quill ammo, this is going gonna, gonna to definitely be worth it. Ah, against titans and stuff, but look at all those molotovs. You know, all nights along the uh, road, we, sh we should get this soon enough, right? Just watch the comments saying, are you dumb? <laughs> yeah, okay, that, that might have been a really dumb thing to do, but oh, oh nice. 6,000, yeah, thank you. 
Yeah, we don't have to invest in our skills. We'll we'll be able to buy them eventually. Can I trust you? But as long as we uh, wait a little bit, even though it's like every six days or something, we'll be able to actually go and buy this. This was level one. Now it's level two. This was level one. Now it's level two. Okay, and then you are getting on my nerves over here. Oh, hello. Did that other zombie just hear me? Yeah, he did. How? He's going to support. Well, I know it's uh, silence isn't really silent silence, but it's supposed to be kind of silent. And still, the zombie was able to hear me so easily. Okay, so let's kill some zombies. Let's see. Please tell me I have some quests in our town. Hi. Winchester rifle. Yeah, let's do it. We'll be able to perhaps buy all the gun skills like this. Why not? In your recipes, they crafting. Oh, damn it. Uh, fetch quests. Everything super far away. Buried supplies, yeah. So we can only do one quest for him, so we're going to be spamming a few scout quests, it seems. We can't afford to go to the other town right now, especially because it's on the eve of the Day 7 Horde. We can't afford to leave this place right now. That just seems to be a really dumb thing to do. See, okay, this is going to be way better killing zombies, and it's just silenced. We don't have to worry about making too much noise too much. Okay, so let's see which way. Lady Killer all the way up there. Let's go do this one. Go up to the Lady Killer and then come back down. I have to make sure I don't cut away too much time right now because just now the Ward Knight's going to be on fun as if I cut out too much time. But also the driving is boring, so I love doing this. Oh, okay. It's just, I've just noticed this here over here. I want to make sure every time we see a loot bag, we pick it up. Because sometimes zombies die during nighttime. Like there's ferals that spawn at night and as soon as it turns in the morning, they die. Um, uh, especially if you didn't encounter them or anything, they just die off on their own. So if we can do that, why not? Uh, no. Oh, it's gonna be another dead quest. I hate these. I need to count how many blocks I actually break. Because sometimes that determines a lot. And like this, we can see which direction we're supposed to be going. Um, let's do it this way around this time. It's gonna be right about here. I need to make sure we have a hole out this time. I'm gonna do that so we don't get stuck in here again. We're like right on top of it or something. Oh, there it is. But we were right on top of it. I'm just gonna be sure. See, we can jump, right? But as soon as I try and jump, all of a sudden we won't be able to jump. And up. Oh, nice. No, just want to get some mods. Although, it's mods that we don't really need right now. Get out, get out, get out. What's spawning? What's spawning? What's spawning? I want to make sure we kill all the zombies that come for us right now because it's free XP. Oh, crap. Okay, they managed to make it up behind me without even me realizing it. Yeah, you're feral because you're on fire and because you're running. Hello. Man, this turret's awesome. Sometimes it kills the zombies before I even get close to the zombies. Okay, all the bodies of here is going to be free bones, but I can't afford to go for them all right now. What I could do, perhaps, is at least get some meat. Come on. What the hell? Yeah, you cow. Come on. Come on. See, because it was... Oh, nice. It just dropped the cow. Because it was hostile to me just now, the turret helped out. Oh, no. Yeah, it was. I was about to say, I dropped a note. How did I drop a note? I forgot that the animals don't look like animals. Oh, you know what? While we're here, we can just walk quickly grab this. It's not all the zombies that create bodies. So, the little bit of body bags that they do create, we're going to need to make some... Um, Farm plots later, and we're gonna need all the rotting corpses we can find. So if I keep skipping bodies every time zombies die, that's gonna actually have a negative effect on us. So as much as possible, even though I know it's a little bit of a chore, we have to wait for those corpses to decay, and then we have to go for all those bones. Okay, so, medicular quest. Hello ladies. I know you are me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, too late. Oh, I need to actually be able to put my turret down when the zombies come for me like that. Oh, why are you guys going there? At least we can go for these over here, but that's all look. Oh, I even actually set myself a light because that's a waste of resources. Oh, it's almost out of ammo. Oh, I have to help it. 
He didn't stop firing since he's only had 23 shots. Oh, yeah, it ran out of ammo. It ran out of ammo. At least the HP is super, super low because I was able to hit most of them with fire. So it seems if you jump on the block too fast, they actually go for any surrounding wood and stuff. That's actually good to um, keep in mind because just now, uh, almost only one came to me. I thought the Molotov over here. That's a waste. I wish all of them went for the tree though, because that would have been a, that wouldn't have been as much of a waste just now. Okay, come on, corpses! You need to despawn. Oh, I forgot a way to check for the timer. I want to make sure that if the zombies, uh, if the horde night ends, we can actually loot those uh, bodies. Last horde night, we actually started losing uh, loot because the loot bag started despawning before it was done. I think this time around, I need to make sure we save as many um, body bags as possible. I think that's uh, that was the problem we had. I didn't order the body bags, as many Molotovs as possible. Uh, the nice thing is I have actually gone for the Molotov over that carbine, so we're going to have enough Molotovs. But we're going to have to make sure we at least keep 10 Molotovs for after Horde Night. And then we can just burn the zombies as we please. Otherwise, if, if it takes too long to kill the zombies still alive after Horde Night, the loot bags are going to despawn again. And we already tested last time, it doesn't, even if you open it up and close it, that, uh, that heat or cheesing it doesn't work anymore. Usually when you open up the bag, it'll uh, make it stay there until you actually cleared it. Now, even if it was a uh, open up bag, it does despawn. Probably get first hand hers in. Although his quest was the only Can one I we had. You? Ooh. You know what? It doesn't really work. Well, after Horde Night, if we can hit all of the zombies with this and then have a fireball, it's going to help us a little bit more, isn't it? Dog days are over. Let's do Lady Killer. They're faster you? than the dogs and there's more. So the more zombies you can kill right now, the better. Please don't tell me. Okay, phew, we just need we need another level. I was about to say we might have been able to get double rewards just now. I need those skill nuts. It must be my lucky day. Thank you. Level 32. I feel so bad not going for these notes and crowbars and stuff, guys. But we need ammo for Horde Knight. That's why this, the moment we can actually get double rewards, it's going to be so much easier to decide what I want. Okay, now we can do previous tier, do a fetch and clear or buried supplies, but, but, okay, that's north, that's southeast. Any jobs? Previous tier? No, that's southwest. Okay, I, I'm just going to go do some uh, scout quests then. If we can spam a few scout quests, at least we'll get the XP from that. And doing two might be enough to level us up, especially if we uh, go for these zombie killing ones. The zombie killing ones, especially if there's like a ladies and guys spawning, there's a lot of them. The dogs are only like five or so dogs, that's not enough XP. Okay, so pull it up and running. Just see where these zombies are coming from. I need them all to come to me. I'm not so slow. It feels like I'm actually really, really, really slow and that's really bad. Okay, now I just want to do this. I'm going to do this. And as they all come for me, you can just hit them once with a Molotov. Okay, that was a waste just now. I mean, that, that's still throw it. Oh, I thought I might be able to get that Molotov back. But it seems as soon as you actually set it right, you can't take it back. Which makes sense, but still. I wonder, if you hand in a quest, do you get XP? Also, I won't be able to uh, wait for the bodies uh, to turn into bones right now because we need to uh, bang out as many of these as possible before Horde Night. What are you looking for? Uh, let's see, what do you have? M4A1. Ooh, coil ammo. Advanced insulator when you go to the, uh, to the desert, uh, to the snow biome. Ooh, this, this, and this is really good. The M we have an M60, so we don't have to go for this one right now. If we go ever looting, we might just need that. I think let's go for the insulator because we're going to need it for uh, cold weather. Uh, man eater, let's go. You? Ooh, I wonder if we've done a quest here before, because I see this now. Okay, are you going to come with this man-eater quest? They're all faster than you, stronger than you, but that's fine. Oh, I should, I should actually save this for the morning after the horde, so it can help me clear some zombies. But for now... I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do this. Make sure we hit as many of them as possible, and then we just book it. Run. That looks so beautiful. All the green and red just intertwining like that. Yeah, stand in the line, stand in the line. As long as I do headshots, I can hit multiple of you in a row. There's a nice thing about the shotgun. It seems some of the pebbles or pellets sometimes goes through the zombie. 
So it's, uh, it's possible to shoot right through one zombie and hit another. After Horde Knight, we're definitely going to have to range a few cards because we're almost out of gas. How may I serve you? I'm like 6% gas left. Um, That is definitely better than this, right? No, this one's range is actually better. Uh, range damage is better, but I think it's because of the mod. Either way, let's go for the cryo again. I don't even really know if they actually work on the zombies, but hey. Can you help me? So close to living up. Let's do one more. Okay, so hopefully... Oh, they're radiated, so they might explode. I just realized... These radiator ones do explode, so we're going to have to be careful of that. So we can do that. I should probably have to put down my tyro downstairs. I need to make sure I kill them. Crap, 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 crap. Before they take too much damage, because they're going to explode. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. These ones explode like pops, so I want the XP. I don't want them exploding over here. Hello. Aww. It took just enough damage just now to explode. That sucks. What are you? What are you? What are you? Hello, hello. As soon as they stand still like that, you have to be really, really careful. So I'm going to get the bones of your quickly, and then we're going to go hand in this. And damn, I don't think we're going to get enough XP. I'm going to try and see if I can't kill one or two zombies to the trader. We're so close to being able to get those double rewards. Obviously, after Horde Knight, we'll definitely be able to. Because then we'll have enough XP after the Horde. Okay, so I just killed three zombies, looted, uh, wrenched the muscle car and the normal car here by the trader. Uh, in order to see if I can't get enough XP, as you, as you guys can see, we're still a little bit short. But what I try and see and do is, if I can quickly just, by the trader, sell a few mods that we have on us. And then talk to her, because if we get double rewards from her, before Horde Knight, that's gonna help us, that might actually help us with like, Molotovs and her new gun or something. So the more we can actually sell to him right now, the better. Because you do get XP, oops, no. Uh, you do get experience from selling mods and stuff to him as well. Look at that. Come on, John. Do that one, that one, do this, do that. Come on, we're so close. Damn, okay, so unfortunately, well, we could buy stuff, right? Let me just please see if I buy this. No, it doesn't, uh, I thought we might be able to buy and sell like this, but buying doesn't really seem to be giving us a ton of XP. I thought that might be the key to be able to go and get the last bit of XP one. We're so close though. It's so unfortunate Great right job. now. Quill Carbine. Okay, let's go for the Quill Carbine this time. It's not as great as the previous one we had, but that's fine. Okay, so we'll wait until morning. That should be level 5 right now. And next up is Lord. What I'm going to go do is, uh, guys, I'm going to go replace those two. Now we level up. Are you kidding me? <laughs> We're going to go replace those two... Um, Stairs that broke uh, from the Wandering Horde. And then, yeah, we're going to be facing the Horde next. I also, I'm going to use the rest of the blocks that remain just to see if we can't get the floor done of that new base. But if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for the Day 21 Horde. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the Join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.